and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Frostbite Midrange. This is one of my favorite decks to play. Deck that I think is just really efficient. I love Elixir of Iron and Brittle Steel being one mana spells. And uh, besides that, it just kind of has a lot of fun cards to play. Ash is a really fun card to play. We got some Challenger stuff, which is definitely fun. And then we have like uh, ways to make our creatures a lot bigger with Omen Hawk and Hearth Guard. And then we got the card advantage. We can draw a lot of cards with Assessor. Just a fun deck to play. And now, after the last patch, now we're adding in Kato the Arm to the top end to be able to give some of our larger creatures um, Overwhelm to help finish games as well. Just a pretty fun deck. All right, so here we go. So let's let's play five games. Whoops. We need to go to the play part first. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. This is what I want to do. Change to the Iceborne Peak. Um, let's be the Basilisk. Let's have some fun. We just got... Um, we just uh, got Bilgewater has been announced. That's going to be the 7th region. That's the region that a lot of people were expecting. But now we know for sure that's going to be the 7th the region. And we're all hyped up about it. Alright, so I'm going to keep the Harsh Winds because... So this is the standalone aggro deck, which we are going to go ahead and try ourselves later on. We'll make a video of standalone aggro. It's a it's um you know the new the new hot deck right now hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Mm. The world awaits. Forward. Let's move. Um, but basically what this this deck's about is just playing is like making very large creatures. That's what this deck's all about. And uh, like making like one creature and making it really big. And so having things to frostbite it seems like a really good spot to be. that card too so yeah we'll go and play hey Spain um no plans to right now good evening eighth place dude happy Friday They're in a tough spot. A true friend, Yorian, will Unfortunately, we don't have the one extra mana. We don't have the one extra mana uh, to be able to have another Flash Freeze back. Okay, Radiant Strike was the worst card to see. I was thinking like Twin Disciplines. I guess it's not the worst card to see because it doesn't kill the Rhyme Fang Wolf. It just keeps that thing alive for a little bit. Alright, so going with the Flash Freeze this turn so that I can still play my 5 drop. And then we'll just be going straight to combat using Harsh Winds. Hmm, I guess with 2 attackers maybe I need to Harsh Winds. Die. Strike quickly 
And I wanted to harsh winds before they attacked with the Zed and made another attacker. Alright, so if I play this, we're at 9 mana. We're looking at 5 left over, so I don't have enough for harsh winds. So I can play Ash and then one of these. Which one of these do I want to play? Not sure if we need another challenger with the Rhyme Fang Wolf. Who gets tossed? Yeah, Rex, Rex is the ninth place dude. <laughs> always ninth place on tiebreakers. Oh wait, what am I thinking? I can't play Ash also? Right, we don't get to use spell mana on Ash. What am I thinking? Ah, uh, first match of the day. That's not how that works. What's up, Forks? Your new computer's all up and running. Congratulations. Glad to hear. to harsh winds here. The main... You know, obviously we can take this. The main problem with taking it, though, is they could have a rally. Um, so otherwise, if I... If I take it, my plan is play Rhymefang Wolf, untap, play Ash, have Harsh Winds attack, and kill them. I guess I shouldn't just play the Rhymefang Wolf, because then they could rally. No, that's that's good. Nice storm. Upgrade oh, that laptop. I like it. <laughs> the speed. Nice. Yeah, love it.
Hmm. They're just gonna let me attack. I feel like I can play the Omen Hawk and I can still probably just attack. So we're going to do this, 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 this. They basically need a, something that pumps the power and then also judge, judgment, I think. They go lights. Yeah, lifesteal barrier. They're still very dead. Uh, we'll just let it go through. Master. Okay. So I think against the standalone deck, Frostbite, you know, seems to be a really good card. You know, like it just they they want to make a very big, like one big creature, and so we just reduce its power to zero. So yeah, harsh winds, all that kind of stuff. That's real good. Oh, dang. Just three years your old hard, hard drive is spent? Yeah, for the most yeah, for the most part, eighth place, dude. Yep. Yep. We got the new set here coming out in one, two, three, four. In four days. Five. Five. Five days. Next Tuesday, the twenty eighth. Which I guess if you include today is five days. What are we playing against? Callista Elise? Do, do, do. And then, um... <laughs> uh, and then it's going to be on mobile on the 30th. We're going to start being able to play full release playing on mobile on the 30th. That's going to be awesome. Maybe I should have mulliganed Glory Seeker. It's not a very good card against spiders and undead things. Maybe I should have mulliganed that card. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for mobile too. No, 30th of April. So like in six days, we're going to have mobile. Gonna be sweet. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. Yeah, dude, I know Storm. It's almost there. Hmm. It's not a very good hand for this matchup. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. You have definitely no no swim. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cool dude. The standalone aggro that we're gonna be playing later on is his deck. Swiftly now. Face me. Um Yeah, I've been playing Legends of Terror for the last couple of months. Train. And... Words move hearts and... Oh man, Dawn Speakers is so good. This is a good combo here. But it's not really... It, like, they're not blocking. Okay, I like this, this drummer. Why do you think spiders are going to get really bad with the new set? 
Why are you under that impression? Only the finest serve. That's bad for me. That was really bad for me. That was quite bad. I really want to get those Dawn Speakers out of here. Maybe I shouldn't have given this quick attack, though. Maybe it's actually better for me to have this Glory Seeker die. So I can have more, you know, if I, if I keep alive something else, I'd have another blocker. Just make the spider. Yeah. Wins. Save me. Oh, yeah, the, the Freljord three mana card that deals one to all. Yeah, that is going to be good against spiders. That's true. Yeah, and, and there are good reasons to play that card in the new set. That's, tr that's also true. So, yeah, very, very good points there. Does this actually... No, this doesn't, like, kill the Undying. The Undying comes back still. That doesn't, like, kill, kill the Undying. When I'm summoned to rally... That was pretty clutch, me not playing this Ice Veil Archer, that's for sure. If it's a fight they want. Alright, so we know they have a Tiana in hand. Dang, no frostbite cards? Drew five? Hmm, they just passed. Just passed.
Um, I don't know. I, Promatic, I don't know anything about the unable to determine region error that you were speaking of. I don't know anything about that. So I have no tips. I, I don't know anything about that. Alright, GG's. Two and out. Um, no, no real like tips on getting cards quickly for new players besides just playing. Um, like there's, that's really just all you do is just just play and get the, um, you know, get XP. I I recommend like with the regions, um, leveling up to like level eight and then going to the next region and you know leveling up your regions kind of evenly because it's because you can level up the regions faster, um, right away. Don't like take. Like with the region rewards, don't just like level up one region to level 20 and then start on the next one. You'll get a lot more rewards if you just do them all. Even if you just want to do them all level 1, then level 2, then level 3, and so on. But going to the reason why level 8 is because you get the champion capsule at level 8, which is really valuable. So go grab that and then start a new region. Um... I, I haven't I haven't thought that really at all real do go the some of the new cards look like insane power creep I haven't thought that at all what what have you been thinking about with that I guess the one card the one card that still looks like the best is a card that's been that was previewed right away the four one that whenever it dies it makes a four four that still just kind of seems like the best card that has been previewed. I haven't seen anything that's like insane power creep. Um, I don't know why you fight. Oh wait, you're on my side now, Legion Drummer. Never mind. Yes, I remember why we fight. To challenge. I am surprised they did not have Sparring Student block here. I am surprised. It's gonna be my new DJ name, Surprised. Well, I'd like to play Ash, but it's just... This is a good time to play Ice Veil Archer. Yeah, the, the Plunder cards from today looked really good. If you're playing them with the Plunder. But even if not, like, some of them are, are you know, okay. Like, the, the three mana, four, three, Plunder, get a mana gem. That card is great. Because three mana four three is overwhelm is just fine. And then if you plunder and you get a, a mana gem, that is great. I will unite the Freljord. Alright, let's go unite the Freljord. Um plunder is like uh bloodthirst in magic. It's if if they take damage this turn, then whenever you play it, you get the plunder ability. So you need to do damage to them first, and then you get the plunder trigger. Show them the might of Noxus. Don't want my Ash to die, of course. So we're going to have Legion Drummer protect it.
upgrade. Um, so they're not blocking anything else. Use that. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it. Um, hmm. Hey, Zeus. The hype's as big as his biceps. It's fancy. So I can't I can't harsh winds before combat because then whenever they attack with battle caster they'll still give them the plus one plus zero. So I need to kind of like wait till after like if they attack then I harsh winds and then we can block some zero power stuff. So we can make this zero power, this zero power. Block those things. And hope that's a free block. And take 14, or nope, throw this thing in front of that. Take nine. Take nine. This leaves them with one little blocker, which actually won't be able to block. And we attack and we win. Unless they do two damage to all my stuff. Can they do uh, two more damage to all my stuff? Um, there will likely be 63 total Bilgewater cards, likely. So there's like, you know, 53 or so that we haven't seen. 55. And likely five champions, you know, we haven't seen any of the champions yet. But I guess with the video, kind of showed Miss Fortune. Looking like there's going to be a champion. Right. Currently in the game, there's 53 cards in each region. And so if they add 123 cards, they'll be adding 10 cards to each um, regular region that's that's in the game right now, that's 60, and then 63 to Bilgewater, so that then Bilgewater will also have 63, so like they'll all have, all the regions will be even. Heimerdinger, let's get rid of you. And... Hmm. Okay, so we have three looks at drawing a two drop or one or a two drop. We'd have this random card, our turn one draw, and then our turn two draw. So we'd have three looks at drawing a two drop. Uh, we got the one drop, so that's that's close enough. I wanted, you know, I I didn't want to just have it be, so I played nothing until Rhyme Fang Wolf. So that's good enough. If only these two were switched, our assessor would be a 5 4, which of course is a real big deal. Do you think there are enough cards already to activate plunder? Yeah, well, I mean. Yes, you activate plunder by attacking. That's how you activate plunder. You attack. And yes, attacking is, is a viable strategy. That's like how you win games. So yes, plunder is very viable. It's not good. It's not 100%. You know, you don't always get to do damage every single turn. Yeah, isn't, isn't attacking doing damage to the Nexus? 
Like, if you have, you have to have unblocked, you know, you have to have unblocked creatures. But so like that makes it makes just it adds another layer to combat where you're where you're like oh, I don't really want to block but maybe I have to block to not turn on plunder. You know, it just adds another layer of combat, adds another layer of like of like chump attacks. You know, attacking with like a it makes cards like hapless aristocrat better where you just like throw hapless aristocrat in there and you're like I don't really want to block hapless aristocrat and take a, a point of damage. Cool. So we got a Twin Disciplines and a Shadow Assassin for my Brittle Steel with this block. Master. I walk my path alone. Eyes blazing brightest torches. I need to know. Now we're talking. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Wish I could have played Hearthguard there, but we'll do that. <laughs> There's a dog barking outside. <laughs> So they got rid of Twin Disciplines and Heimerdinger. So they certainly have more Heimerdingers in hand. Certainly. But Twin Disciplines seems like a pretty decent card in this kind of scenario. I think I can just let Ash go to one. I think that's okay. I mean, they probably have like static shock and things like that. They'll kill it. Okay, so it's probably gonna die, but I, I think that's okay. You know, we have another battling beer. We have the hard, you know, we got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, they dealt another five damage to it, so I'm glad we didn't waste the Brittle Steel. I guess the Brittle Steel would have leveled up Ash. No, it wouldn't have. They're at three, not it was at three, not four. Oh, the sweet smell of science. Um Attack. All right, we are four and O oh with Frostbite Midrange. This deck is good. Well, it just has good interaction, good threats. It's just a good deck. It's fun to play. Four and zero, final boss time. Can we get the five zero? Final boss.
final boss time. Thanks, Kyrex. Thank you, thank you. All right, so Zed at Katarina. This hand looks just fine. This looks just fine. You can see, like, the card I was considering mulliganing was the Assessor. Actually, I guess I should play Legion Drummer here to then play Rhyming Wolf. Huh, that's weird, Rex. I don't know. The world awaits. Forward. So they're in like a conundrum here. They can either like play something better for me to kill with Challenger. Okay, or are they just done? All right, well. Um, do I want to trade the three two for this? If I don't attack, they're coming back attacking for six. I think this is worth it. They're attacking for at least six. They could play like a Zed. Make my life even more difficult. I guess at that point we would Ice Veil Archer plus Glory Seeker. That's a good draw. Yeah, I would have preferred to play Ash this turn, but need to Frostbite that, th that thing. Um, let me check it something out real quick. Yeah, so like Mobile Addicts, the site that I have my decks on, that's out right there. If you go to the left-hand side, there's a deck library, and then you can, uh, if you click on that, in the deck library, and then uh, there is an option, like there's a tab for budget decks. And there's just, a, so there's a few budget decks that I think are built for newer players. So I'd recommend checking that out on their B squared. That's the the best reference. That's the best uh, resource that I know of, at least. Okay, so we're going to attack here, attack here, attack here. Pull that. Yeah. 
No. That's a bummer. I can't, I can't protect uh, from Will of Ionia with Elixir of Iron or Brittle Steel. See if this works. Hopefully, it does. Avarosa, guide me. It did not work. Hopefully this works. It's my last chance. If they have another Might or Twin Disciplines. Look at all these... Uh, look at all these keywords. It has, like, so many things on it. <laughs> it's like all of these different things on the Zed. I guess maybe I should have blocked with the Ash to start with. I didn't I didn't really consider Ash leveling up and going to four toughness. But oh man, they would have had more things. Yeah, we got yeah, we have Crystal Arrow with both Wolf and Glory Seeker. Like we're we should be fine. Um, let's see, seven, so I'm at eight mana. I can go Glory Seeker and then Trifarian Assessor and draw two cards again. But may, we probably just want to go Wolf, Glory Seeker. Need just a moment. And then Arrow. You don't want to play anything? I want them to play, you know, like they play another creature, then I get to arrow all of them. But, but I guess we have the Ash attack. They do keep their Zed alive here. Uh, Deny doesn't matter because I have Ash attack to make it zero, and Deny is not a big deal. It's basically if they have more protection like if they have will of ionia or um you know another power another thing to raise its power if they have something else that keeps that alive we're in a little bit of a trouble with it How do I challenge these two? Is it better? Stand together. Nope. Pick you up also. Which order is it? I guess this is the better order. Like, if they have twin disciplines and they... If I do it the other way, they can make this a 0-6 and keep it alive. No, go back. Oh man, this is this is a problem. Wow, what a good draw. 
I guess the other the other thing though is I would have had a, a blocker with. If I would have gone the other way. Like, the problem with the 5 power on Zed is that they could have just used the Twin Disciplines, make it an 06, and keep it alive. Like, if their only card was Twin Disciplines. By putting it on the Wolf, if they want to make it an 06, it still dies. So they have to make it a 3 3, and, which means it still dies. It's like they couldn't, they couldn't save it with just a, a toughness pumping thing like that. But they ended up having two cards. They had pump the power and pump the toughness. That was the only way they could keep it alive, is having two pumps by putting it on the wolf. Alright, but there we go. We still finished out that 5-0 with Frostbite midrange. This deck is just really solid. Um, you really want you like you want brittle steels and elixir of irons. Don't mulligan elixir of irons too much. That's what that's one thing that I've uh, really learned playing this deck in the past is I've mulliganed elixir of iron too much. This card's just really solid. It you know it usually saves saves anything and for just one mana at burst speed, um, it's worth it keeping it in your hand. You know saving any of these things. Basically, like if your Rhymefang Wolf was gonna die, or your Legion Drummer, you know without like your Legion Drummer was gonna die instead of like having to spend two mana on a new Legion Drummer, spending one mana burst speed. You know like spell one spell mana, not like two um, ally mana being able to use is really worth it and so elixir of iron saving anything is is worth it um so that's one thing that i've learned is not to mulligan that card too much but there we go all right final boss defeated 5-0 to kick the day off all right cool to, uh cool start so there we go there's frostbite midrange those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there um and you know if you've been playing this deck also this is a you know it's a fairly popular deck and it's it's not one that's too difficult to put together either um just kind of looking at it, like these are all commons we have we have a few all right we're starting to, we we got some rares in here we basically have ash is the only champion and then hearth guard is oh and kato kato's an epic also so we have a few epics we have like five epics then it, an okay amount of rare. So, but basically, we just have like the one champion there with Ash. It's not, it's not super difficult to put together, but it's a fun deck for sure. All right, but yeah. Uh, thank anyway. Thanks so much for watching some Frostbite Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.